So when I got here, I got here at 5.30. I was uh, doing coolant then. And so I showed up a little bit early, about a half hour before the shop opened up. I remember arriving, I got out of my car like normal. I came up and I got to the door and I remember getting to the door and smelling smoke. I was like, man, that's smoke. And I remember distinctly thinking, man, I hope that is not coming from the shop. I opened the lock, I opened the door. Oh man, that is coming from the shop. And so I ran in, that, walks, that goes into our break room, full of smoke. Came into inspection, full of smoke. Went through the main doors through the shop, completely full of smoke. I remember covering my face, I ran through, I could still hear the fire burning. I remember hearing the crackling and the popping of the, of the wood. And so I ran over, we used to have some passivation tanks over there, and I say used to because they were on the ground at this point. And I ran over, they were still on fire, you could tell it had been burning for a while, the tanks were completely melted. I had to run over, I had to grab the fire extinguisher, come over, put the fire out, and I remember I ran out and I called you. I gave you a call and we wanted to go back in and kind of document the damage one more time. I remember coming through, and just filming and as you can see just smoke everywhere smoke all the way through uh, mess all over the floor the solution had melted and just spilled everywhere and it was it was quite the experience but you know I mean the shop survived and uh, we learned some lessons that day for sure it's crazy because my shop's on fire like it's on fire the whole I mean not even just the fire the soot just all over I mean we're talking you know crazy insurance crazy cleaning crazy everything to we have a precision shop and uh, it did a lot of damage. You it know? did, make it, it got hot too, and if you remember correctly, yeah. it melted the front control panel and parts yeah. washer. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy time. One of the reasons I'm sharing this story, granted, the story happened a few years back. Mm -hmm. We were like cranking. Every day, we just had loads of rocket parts going out, aerospace parts, and everybody needed everything now, just like a lot of you guys experience on a daily basis. And during the process, we realized Every time we took it to the parts to the passivation house, our stainless parts and stuff, it actually took forever. Like mm -hmm. they were super busy and it would take a week just for passivation. You know, one of our, our plant managers, one of the guys on the floor was actually an expert in that. Like he used to actually have an anodized and passivation house and stuff. We decided that because we had the AMS 2700 spec for passivation, which could be nitric or it could be citric acid. We decided to actually build our own tanks and actually bring that process in house so we could save our customers like a week in mm -hmm. lead time because everybody was desperate for parts and stuff. And we actually had a process for, we had the documentation, all the regulations. It was great. We had an automatic shutoff. We had somebody that came every night and actually double checked it, made sure. But on this particular night, okay. right? Basically didn't check it. It did get checked. Checks it are didn't only, get checked. Checks are only good if they get checked. Exactly. So. And then the automatic shutoff didn't work. Mm -hmm. The heaters inside the tanks actually ran from Friday through the weekend. Yeah. They basically heated the water, evaporated the water. It ended up being bare on the tanks, which heated through the tanks because they were plastic tanks because it was citric acid. Again, all under regulation and basically went right through and caused the fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we don't even know when the fire started, but no it, idea. it burned like all like through the weekend. Yeah, I think it must have started sometime on Sunday. I mean, the fire was still burning when I came in. So yeah, it's it crazy. hadn't started, you know, somewhere I think on Sunday. Yeah. So. At the end of the day, we, we got the shop clean. We, uh, everybody <laughs> stayed safe. We, we decided not to do passivation anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think that's the lesson here. You know, stick to what your niche is, serve your customers, do what you're best at, and go above and beyond, but allow the experts to do what you're not sure of. Be an expert in what you're an expert at. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I'm not telling you guys don't venture off, but when you venture off to actually build more processes and build them into your plant, make sure that you have the processes in place and dialed and there's no way that you can fail and you truly understand it in a way that benefits your company and benefits everybody involved absolutely safety all of it amen amen mm -hmm. boom crazy situation <laughs> very great but we survived yeah, we're here man we're uh. here.